हांजी बेटा सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द डिस्कशन नाउ फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन रीड द पोम अगेन एंड वर्क इन पेयर्स और ग्रुप्स टू डू द फॉलोइंग टास्क find the words that describe the movements and actions of the tiger in the cage and in the wild arrange them in two columns right so what you have to do is just go to the page where you have the poem find out the words which describe the movements and actions of the tiger in the cage and then in the wild and find the words that describe two places and arrange them in two columns so first you have to describe about the movements the homework was given to you so if you are ready can we start with the discussion kindly raise your hand first of all the movements which describe the movement of the tiger in the cage what is your response quickly locate those words gurnoor and mute and tell what is the answer the movements that describe uh, the words that describe the movements of the tiger in the cage bhumi is ready with the answer yes bhumi the movement that is uh, the movement that is Uh, that is described by the poet in the cage is the uh, stalks and uh, a few steps a few steps taken by uh, the tiger in cage yes. ignoring pe- ignoring the uh, visitors who are ignoring the visitors and stalking and the movement described in the uh, forest by the poet is that lur- lurking and then slash uh, snarling around houses yes. fly, sliding terrorizing the uh, villagers and hears and stares yes correct answer so movement and actions of the tiger in the cage when the cage uh, when the tiger is in the cage so the words are stalking then on paths of the velvet quiet then actions are ignoring hears stares right and the movement and actions in the wild is lurking sliding snarling then barring terrorizing then places mentioned in the cage places in the wild who will tell no one you have not done the homework today yes moksh in stalks in the cage Mm-hmm. Bad in the cage, uh, yes. uh, ignoring the visitors in the cage, stalking the cage. I mean, forest lurking in shadow, mm-hmm. sliding through long grass, mm-hmm. snarling around houses, mm-hmm. terrorizing the villagers. Uh, okay. Stares with okay. brilliant eyes. Here's okay. the last voice. Yes. Ah, uh, cage. वाले में आपने सिर्फ cage को repeat किया है. There are words, other words as well, like concrete cell. behind bars length of his cage so these are the words which are actually described for cage okay yes aapka places in the wild is absolutely correct through long grass near the water hole around houses at jungles edge as well okay now question number 2 notice the use of a word repeated in lines such as on paths of velvet quiet in his quiet rage and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant, brilliant stars so what do you think is the effect of this repetition what exactly is uh, the purpose of repeating the words why has the poet used this repetition here yes jujhar answer the question we know about the usage of the poetic devices why the poets use these devices so what is the effect created here the word quiet it appears twice in the line that with velvet quiet and quiet rage 
the poetic device. What is the poetic device used here? It is poetic device. To bata do, kaun sa hai? Very good. No one is responding today. Repetition. Yes, repetition. No, it is repetition in the word quiet when it is repeated. Yes, oxymoron is there with the word quiet rage, right? Now, this repetition here, a particular action is emphasized, right? The word quiet is used for describing the quiet movement of tigers, velvety pads. And in the second line, the quiet stands for the silent or the suppressed anger of the tiger, the, the rage, jo anger hai tiger mein, jo uncontrolled hoti hai, how it is suppressed behind the bars. So these two words are showing the effect. One is the quiet movement of the tiger's velvety pads, that is the pause, and the quiet in the second line stands for the suppressed rage of the tiger. Clear? Next, the use of the word brilliant, brilliant eyes, brilliant stars. What is the significance here? Who will tell? At least give a try, speak something. Jo bhi dimag mein aara, usse bataiye, kya soch rahe ho is vakt aap? In the first line, the poet tells that he stares the uh, patrolling car with his brilliant eyes. Whereas in the second line, he mentions that in the forest, he uh, sees the brilliant star shining in the sky. Ha, so the repetition hai. What exactly is the meaning? <clears throat> He's listening to the voice of the patrolling cars. He's not brilliantly watching those cars. Brilliant to her is related. The last two lines are related, interrelated. What is the significance? Do watch the video again, the last video posted in the class group, and I explain this thing there. I have explained it clearly. What is exactly the meaning of the usage of the word brilliant eyes and brilliant stars there? At least make a try. Yes, Dilpreet Beta, Hanji Bolie. It expressed both the anger and brightness in eyes of tiger. Okay, anything else? Anybody else? Yes, Gurnoor. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Um, uh, the word brilliant is uh, uh, showing the uh, is repeated in the brilliant eyes and brilliant stars which actually puts a deep meaning in the point that the tiger with his brilliant eyes with his uh, beautiful eyes is looking at the stars which are freely uh, which are freely scattered in the sky and is hoping that one day he would also uh, f uh, that how he would be freely moving in the forest Yes, you can relate it to that way. Yes, good guess. Brilliant stars, the stars which are free in the sky, shining bright, brightly in the sky. The poet, he has given this effect, the effect of repetition here, where he is signifying the fact that how the tiger is also looking with brilliant eyes at those stars which are shining brilliantly in the sky. Somewhere the hope that could be seen in the eyes of the tiger that one day he would also be roaming free in the wild. He's the denizen of the wild who belongs to that place and forcefully he is kept behind the bars. But somewhere a hope could be seen in the eyes of the tiger when he looks at the stars, when he stares at the stars, the brilliantly shining stars in the sky, signifying the hope that is in the eyes of the tiger who also longs, desires to roam freely in the jungle. Right? It is clear now. The brilliant stars, the significance, the comparison here, that how brilliant uh, we, the tiger is looking with brilliant eyes to the brilliant stars, right? And the last part, there is one question. Are zoos necessary for protection of or conservation of some special species of animals? Are they useful for educating the public? Are there alternative to zoos? There are three different questions. Kya zoo necessary for conservation of some species? 
کیا یہ ایک یوزفل وے ہے فار ایجوکیٹنگ پیپل اباؤٹ اینیملس اینڈ آر دیر اینی ادر آلٹرنیٹو یس بھومی no according to me zoos are not uh, uh, necessary as there are many uh, uh, wildlife sanctuaries and uh, biosphere reserves for the animals and the, for the species of the animals and uh, uh, educating the public uh, yeah uh, it can be uh, it can be through the those natural reserve, uh, natural biosphere reserve also because uh, in zoos the uh, animals are kept in the cage but uh, where as as compared to biospheres they are not caged there they are uh, allowed to move freely even they are provided with a good care by the forest uh, by the officials there so uh, uh, yes there are uh, there is an alternative to zoo okay thank you bhumi any other student who would like to add Share your views, Bata. Aapko kya lagta hai? Zoo necessary hai? Mandeep, Khushi, Navkirat. Anybody else who would like to add to this question? What is your opinion? Aapko kya lagta hai? Chidiya ghar jo banai jate hai, jo zoo banai jate hai, wo sahi hai banane. स्पेशल स्पीशीज को कंजर्व करने का क्या वो सही तरीका है लोगों को एजुकेट करने का सही तरीका है हाँ जी बेटा आंचल According to me, I don't think that zoos are a better way to conserve animals because in that way they feel like they've been trapped into they've been Uh, confined into a place and they cannot live in their natural surroundings so apparently they will act the same too and animals have to act naturally in their habitat just to live how the way they are supposed to live and they won't be able to live like that if people are constantly gazing upon them while they're doing their daily activities hmm okay good response anybody else moksha aap bhi kuch kehna chahte the yes i don't think that uh... zoos are necessary for educating the public hmm. because uh, what kind of education it would uh, give people that the animals are caged uh, so i don't think the zoos are necessary for protection or conservation for the conservation more and more bio reserves should be set up so that they are conserved as well as they are living in their natural habitat yes wonderful so see how beautifully you have started thinking your thoughts are going towards the right direction so when we talk about the zoos uh, we can just cannot defend by saying that yes they conserve and protect some species instead they are actually curtailing the freedom of the wild animals it's a kind of torture and against the natural justice we cannot justify these zoos by just saying that they are protecting the uh, the species the rare species but instead what we can do the tiger reserves the sanctuaries the wild sanctuaries these are the better alternatives because these provide a natural habitat to the wild animals like tigers and lions and instead of keeping them in the zoo these cannot be the, the way cannot be actually taken to teach or educate people about animals it's, it's not the correct way because by keeping them in cage we are actually torturing them it's a torture they are restricted confined within the limits of the cage bars there they cannot roam freely and gradually what happens is that they just uh, lose their ferociousness they just lose their natural behavior and they start ignoring the visitors as the poet has described in the poem that how the tiger that is in the zoo is now ignoring the visitor he is sad he is unhappy and just uh, measuring the length of the <clears throat> cage that he is in and is not doing any other activity and thus to justify this he is also presenting a picture where the tiger how he should be living in the wild how he should be roaming here and there hunting the deer, deer there and sometimes just straying away towards the village side and terrorizing people this is the action of an animal the wild animal so wild sanctuaries the tiger reserves so these are the better alternative where these wild animals can live freely and be can be protected and conserved properly so this is what is actually conveyed 
through this poem, A Tiger in the Zoo. How the poet has beautifully highlighted the theme, presented the torture that the human beings are doing towards the animals by keeping them in cage just for the sake of amusement and fun. Even, you know, there is always a contradiction that animals, they should be uh, taken for the medical research work, whether they should be taken or not. Is par bhi contradictions hoti rehti hai, because a lot of torture is there on part of the animals there. Jab medicines par research hoti hai, to sabse pehle janvaro par experiment hota hai, and they go through a lot of pain. So some also think that they should not be uh, utilized in such a way for the research purpose. And this uh, debate goes on. It is still a hot topic of discussion whether animals should be taken for such kind of research work or not. So this way we see that how the poet, he highlights that the wild animals, they should be given the freedom that they deserve because it's an essential virtue, which is not just restricted to human beings. The animals, they do deserve to be free and thus they should be treated with respect their existence should be respected because we live in partnership with all the other species which exist on this earth so we just cannot ignore them curtail their freedom just for the sake of development amusement and fun yes students so this is all about the poem a tiger in the zoo if there is any other query from your side you can ask this is all from my side. If still any doubt is there, please do ask.